Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making these delicious polenta fries, which if you've never made anything with polenta, it is so good. It is basically like cornmeal, cornmeal and grits. It's delicious. And you just cut the polenta up into these little strips and then we're going to bake them actually instead of deep frying them. And they come out so delicious. This recipe is gluten-free, vegan, it's soy-free, and it's just so good. It's perfect as a little appetizer, side dish, snack, and you're really, really going to love them. As always, the full run out recipe is on the blog. Check the link in the description box down below for that. I also write all the ingredients in the description box down below as well. If you like my videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff helps channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and let's go make these polenta fries. We're gonna start off by making our polenta. So let's turn our stove on to a medium heat. We're gonna add in two cups of water and then we're going to add in two cups of non-dairy milk. Make sure that you're using, of course, unsweetened, unflavored non-dairy milk, so that way you don't add a vanilla flavor to your polenta. That's not what we're going for here. And you can use any non-dairy milk that you like. I'm using almond milk, but you could use oat milk, soy milk, rice milk, whatever kind of non-dairy milk you like. So add this into your pot, let it come to a boil, then we're gonna add in our seasonings and our polenta. You're gonna gradually add the polenta in and whisk, and then gradually add in a little bit more and whisk. This is to prevent any clumping. I'm using the polenta from Cola Vita. It's like a quick cooking polenta. I really like it and it works really well. So you're just going to keep whisking. And then once you add all the polenta in, continue to whisk. And once all that liquid gets absorbed and the polenta starts to boil is when I typically like to take it off of the stove and then I am going to just continue to whisk it off the stove for about another like five minutes, just until it cools down. And it'll look something like this. So at this point, just give your polenta a taste. As long as it tastes good, we're gonna transfer this into a little baking square. So I'm just taking a little bit of oil and I'm just going to line the dish with it. I have a nine by nine baking dish here. And then we're going to transfer the polenta into here, just pour it in and then you're just actually gonna pop this in the freezer for an hour. Just spread it out with a spatula. You can also pop this in the fridge overnight. It just depends on how quickly you want to make these polenta fries, but if you put them in the freezer for like one to two hours, that's perfect. If you wanna do it for longer, put it in the fridge. So after I smoothed it all out and got it to how I wanted it to be, I'm just putting it right in the freezer like this. And in the meantime, we're gonna make a dipping sauce. So right here I have some vegan mayo and we're gonna combine that with two cloves of garlic that I minced. And this is kind of like a, it's not really like an aioli, but it's like kind of a play on an aioli. And then we're gonna take the juice of half of a lemon. This was a pretty big lemon, so yours might not be as thin as mine came out, but that's okay. When I put it in the fridge, it thickened up as time went on, so it was okay. So it's been an hour and I removed my polenta from the freezer and I'm just gonna take a spatula and just kind of loosen up the edges just to make sure that nothing sticks. And then I'm going to flip it onto a cutting board and we are going to begin to cut. Definitely make sure that your polenta is solidified. It really does need about an hour in the freezer. I'm gonna start by cutting my polenta in half crosswise. So then we can make a bunch of lengthwise cuts and we will cut the polenta up into our fry shape like this. And I think it's so easy to do. You can make them any size you want, any shape you want. You know, you can make them as big or as little as you like. Then I'm gonna roll them in some cornstarch. This is just gonna help to give a super crispy outer coating. Add it onto a baking sheet. We're gonna lightly brush these with olive oil. This is about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm not gonna use all the olive oil at first. Like I have half of it still saved. Pop this in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Let it bake for that long. Then we're gonna flip them. They're gonna be hot, so be careful. But as you can see, they're already getting crispy. We're gonna brush them with the remaining oil and they're going back in for 15 minutes. If you wanna air fry these, pan fry these, deep fry these, check out the blog post. I always talk about that kind of stuff there. When they're all done, they'll look something like this. Let them cool on the pan for five minutes just to really like harden back up again. And then we can plate it up now with our dipping sauce. And I just garnished the plate with some fresh basil that I chopped up and a little bit of coarse sea salt. And they're really delicious. They look really beautiful. I think they're like fun and fancy and they're really not that hard to make. And I hope you guys try them out. If you like the videos, you already know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that stuff. And if you've never had polenta, you have to give this a try because you're really going to love it. It's, I love eating polenta this way. It's just so good because it's crispy on the outside but like soft on the inside. So y'all really love it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, boy.